Time for your morning wake up call. Here's a look at your top headlines for this Tuesday morning. Pfizer is expected to seek FDA authorization for its vaccine booster for anyone over 18. The move could happen as soon as this week, one step closer to President Biden's goal of making booster shots available to all U.S. adults. And new this morning, United States Congress has just created a new requirement for automakers. Their demand for a high-tech way to keep drunk people from driving cars. It's one of the mandates, along with a burst of new spending aimed at improving auto safety and the $1 trillion infrastructure package that President Biden is expected to sign soon. Facebook is in more drama this morning surrounding its new name. A small tech company says Facebook stole the name from them. The Chicago based meta company says it declined an offer from Facebook to buy its name earlier this year. And they also allege that the platform committed trademark infringement when it changed its name. Also, another Arizona company named Meta PCs is having more fun with the rebranding, saying it's changing its name to Facebook. Well, from Little Rock all the way to D.C., the former Hall High Warrior visiting the White House yesterday. Bobby Portis, part of the Milwaukee Bucks championship team, got to see President Joe Biden. The Bucks were the first NBA champion to visit the White House since 2016. Bobby Portis played a big part in Milwaukee's big NBA Finals victory over the Phoenix Suns. Portis even tweeting this yesterday saying from Little Rock, Arkansas to the White House. Who would have ever thought? Aww. Hashtag underdog. We are very proud of him. Was able to cover him back in 2020, 2012, I guess, 2013 when he was back in high school. Very, very proud of him. Really, really cool to see. We would have Aww. thought, Bobby. We knew. Yes. We, we knew where he was going. I love going that. Far. And yeah. I love that he gave a shout out to Little Rock, too. Yeah. Yes. I mean, he could have just talked about anything, but he wanted to it, give a shout out. He is very proud of his hometown, and he's put it on full display. And I know you couldn't see in that picture. He actually had a Razorback pin Aww. on I his jacket. So really, really proud of him. He makes Arkansas proud. And Bobby, run for office. We'd vote for you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs>